What is going on, investors? Hopefully, you guys had a great day out there. Time to talk about NVIDIA Corporation, ticker symbol NVDA. The stock just reported earnings after the bell. If you're new to the channel, we jump into the numbers. We'll take a look at the revenue. We'll take a look at the profit. We'll take a look at the balance sheet on this one. And then finally, we'll get over to the stock chart as well. This stock ended the day at about $580 per share. It's popped up about $10 in the after hours section. It's actually teetering right on an interesting range. So we'll talk about what you could potentially do with NVIDIA tomorrow if you want to add to your position or start a position or even maybe even potentially sell your position in NVIDIA. Now, over the last year, the stock is up nah, just 92%. That's it. We've got a $350 billion market cap. Very small dividend on this one. You're getting a nice little 0.011% yield. They do just pay a small dividend. So if you're buying and holding this one, you get a couple pennies for your efforts. Now, NVIDIA beat by 29 cents and beat on a revenue. I think the most important thing is they're guiding in the next quarter, the first quarter to $5.3 billion. When we jump over to the numbers, we'll see they just had a quarter where they did about $5 billion. So they're just in continuing the train. They're expecting another $300 million added on to that. Now, first thing is first, let's take a look at valuation. You might be wondering, well, there's NVIDIA, there's AMD, there's Intel, there's Qualcomm, there's TSM. There's lots of chip makers out there. NVIDIA tends to be premium priced. Here's a price to sales basis. Look, these companies earn money in a different way. Some of them flow money on the balance sheet. Some of them don't. Some of them pay larger dividends. Some of them don't. But they all make money kind of the same way. Okay, obviously they have different products and different specialties. But a sale is a sale amongst the chip makers. And so we're comparing price to sales amongst all of them. And you see here NVIDIA in the orange line is trading at 23 times sales. That is nearly double AMD, which I happen to buy today at 10 times sales. Intel, just uh, bring it up the rear at th about three times sales. Qualcomm's at five. 0.82 times sales and Taiwan Semiconductor is at 12 times sales. So first thing to understand is if you're buying into NVIDIA or you're wondering if you do, you're probably going to pay a premium because I've got a three-year chart here. It's always traded at a premium except back here at the end of 2018. You could have got it probably for a pretty darn good price there. So it trades at a premium to its peers Part of it is because when we come over here and look at the revenue trend, it is phenomenal. And they're in some of this kind of sexy stuff. So they're in gaming. They're in data center. Take a look at data center. Back in Q1 of 20, we were making 634 in revenue. That has more than tripled to now we're in Q4 2021 to $1.9 billion. Gaming has always been their market or their leading product. Notice we were at a billion. Now we're at about $2.5 billion. That's in a little over a year and a half, two years. So just phenomenal growth. You see here back in Q1 of 2020, we were at 2.2 billion. Now oh, we're up at 5 billion and they're projecting 5.2 billion in the next quarter. Let's jump over to the numbers. So I talked about over the last three months, January over January of last year, We've got revenue from 3.1 billion all the way up to 5 billion. Now the cost of revenue, man, it barely moved. I, I mean, this is a, we're up $2 billion here and we really only added less than about $750 million to the cost side of that revenue. That means gross profit's going to be phenomenal. We went from 2 billion up to $3.1 billion. Here's our 12 month view. So they're giving you a full 12 months here. This is back in January and this is January of this year. On the gross profit side, you went from 6.7 up to $10.4 billion. You can see why this stock is up big time over the last year when you are, I mean, that's not quite a double, but it's pretty darn close in one of the hottest business models on the stock market right now, which is chip making. Now, that's not our, all our expenses. Okay, we got operating expenses. We got R and D. We got selling general administrative, and that's how they wrap it up. Notice here. Take a look again. We went from three billion up to five billion. Our cost of revenue moved a little bit, but take a look. Costs really didn't go up that much. Went from a billion in cost up to 1.65 billion. That means income from operations right here went from we'll call that a billion dollars last year in the quarter up 500 million to 1.5 billion dollars okay T let's take a look at it from the 12 month view we went from 
$2.8 billion up to $4.5 billion. I want you to annualize out this 1.5. Okay. So it's about $6 billion. If you annualize that number, because this is for three months, this is for 12 months. If you want to assume, look, NVIDIA's got hyper trends, their data center, their gaming, it's going to grow next year. If that's what you're assuming. Okay. You could times this number by four and it's not an exact science. It's not exact math, but it lets you know that, look, this 4.5 is probably going to grow again next year. So this is a company that is just flowing tons of money to the net income side. Now they have some adjusted numbers on here, not necessarily going to pay attention to them because the non-adjusted numbers are phenomenal. But one thing to keep in mind, when we take a look at these numbers and these expenses, there's stock-based compensation baked into these numbers. And so this is not all cash. Okay. In fact, they're earning more than this on a cash basis. When you factor in some of those expenses actually factor in stock-based compensation, not like salary-based, dollar-based compensation. Now, from a balance sheet perspective, everything's looking really good at NVIDIA. We went from about, uh, call that $11 billion up to about $11.5 billion. One thing I thought that was in interesting was their inventory doubled over the, the last year or so. They were at about $979, and that doubled to about $1.8 billion. I wonder if this is like, this is, I would guess... Probably not finished inventory. If you dig into the financials and stuff, you might be able to find the answer to this question. But I would guess it's probably in progress stuff. It's stuff that they're working on. It's not necessarily finished inventory that's sitting on the shelf waiting to be sold. It could be like materials to make the chips and things like that that should or will be delivered in future quarters. Obviously, they're guiding to a fantastic first quarter that's even better than their most recent quarter. So you'd have to assume sales are going to continue to be robust over at NVIDIA. Now they got a little bit of short-term debt, about, uh, about a billion sitting there on the short-term side, ticked up here on the long-term side, looked like they, they, they might've taken out a little bit of debt, but not too bad. Our, our total liabilities went up quite a bit. Okay. We went from 5 billion up to about 11 billion. But when you're growing, I mean, first of all, they have about that sitting on the balance sheet in cash. They have accounts receivable as well. They have plenty of money at the, the rate that NVIDIA is going to uh, borrow this money, it's not that big of a deal. So balance sheet perspective looks perfect from a revenue perspective. This is just phenomenal. Now, let's jump over to the stock chart. Can you get this one? Whoa, it's going up even higher in the after hours. People are digesting this report as you are as well. We're now up back to $600 per share. So this one kind of blew. I have this line in here at 588. This is about when we opened the video. That's where it was because we topped out here with NVIDIA and boy, it sold off all the way down to, uh, we'll call that about $470 per share. Went all the way back up and then came all the way back down to the bottom of a range here at $515 per share. Hovered there for a while, went all the way up, made new highs. This was interesting. Once it popped above $590, it made new highs here. I would actually anticipate at this point, now that NVIDIA is kind of pushing up above 590 and we're close to about 600, I would put, say that these all-time highs at about 610, 615 are back in place. So here's two things that you want to look for, okay? Can NVIDIA push above 610? Okay, 615, 613 I have marked out here. If we can push above this on a big green candle and maybe confirm it the next day, well, look, this stock could continue a monster uptrend. We could probably test 630, 640 on this one. The other thing, if you want to buy shares of NVIDIA and you don't want to buy here at the top, well, this is a key level. I'd watch it at 615. Will this stock get rejected in this range? Again, we popped up above here with NVIDIA over the last few days and the stock got rejected. In fact, it got rejected all the way down here to 530. So it's something to keep in mind. This is a critical area. In my opinion, it's going to do one of two things. It is going to pop up above here. I would say that's a slightly lower probability, but it certainly could happen. We could pop up above here and make just make new highs and then start consolidating sideways. The other thing is we kind of hit our head up in here. Sellers step in up here, which they have done several times. And this stock comes back into kind of an intermediate range here between 560 and 590. 
whether or not you want to really cut edges on on this one if you're trying to add to it i'll let you to decide if you've got a smaller account chances are you're fractional sharing buying this since it is a 560 dollars account and you only have a few thousand dollars in your account personally i would only buy uh, small amounts of this one so you're not going to get hurt necessarily either way just letting you know what kind of price action typically occurs when stocks are up here retesting all-time highs Sellers tend to st a step in when we reach these highs, unless we just kind of blow through it. So that was NVIDIA, great quarter, and they're guiding to a really strong Q1. They've got a lot of momentum behind all their products and their business models. This is one, in my opinion, you buy, you hold, and you go to the golf course and you look for another stock to buy. So that was NVIDIA. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll be back again with more videos the rest of the week. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck with your investments.